So how do you create a brand that truly represents who you are and the products you sell, as well as building a business that you can scale online? That is what this podcast will help you do. My name is Henry Kaminsky Jr. and welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast. Let me just make this statement loud and clear. Surgeons here, surgeons here. What is going on, everybody? Today's topic of conversation is how to work more effectively with your design team. Woo, this one is a big one, guys. This one is a biggie. So I just got back from Arizona. Uh, one of my clients asked me to speak at one of his live events, which was awesome. First time going to a live event, uh, you know, while COVID is still a- around and lurking. And it was just, it was great to get out and meet some new people and really, really had an awesome time. Big shout out to Dom Fawcett and Think React Lead, uh, for having me come and, and, and speak. Um, as I was waiting for my lunch, I had one of the people that were sitting in the audience come up to me and ask me, you know, how do you get designers to do what you want? And I was like, wow, that is such a great question. <laughs> he said, I'm getting so frustrated because they're just not, they're not seeing my vision. They're not getting back to me on time with revisions. It's, and, and we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, trying to get these edits done and it's just taking forever to get anything done. So <laughs> he says, how do you do it? How do you nail it, you know, for your clients? Or um, how could I communicate with them more effectively so that we don't have this problem? So I have some really good ideas for you, and I'm going to break these down for you one by one right after this quick little message. If you're a business owner who feels your branding isn't truly representing the value that you deliver, check out this free video training that will help you level up your brand's messaging and online presence so that you can start attracting higher quality clients. Visit www.uniquedesigns with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net backslash level up my branding. All right, so let's get back into this, right? So how do we work with our design team more effectively? So I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I've learned as a designer working with clients for over the 14 years. Um, and then I could share with you some experiences as now a creative director working with a design team that's a hell of a lot better than me in design um, that I've been working with over the years and how we're able to get things done so quickly. So the first thing that I asked the person I was speaking to at the event was, do you really know what you want? Like, and, and on what basis are you giving them design direction? So I asked them, I said, did you have any formal, you know, brand strategy discussion with the client, uh, with the, with the design team before they got started. And he was like, well, no, I was hoping that they did it for me. And I was like, well, you know, it's a give and take when you hire designers, uh, because sometimes they're just hired guns, right? They're not going to sit down with you and really map out the brand strategy with you. They're just going to execute on the design, right? It's two different things. So you know, it's like trying to get a plumber to put a roof on your house, right? It's it's two very different things. That's why strategists come in first, build all the strategy out, and then the creative team comes in and builds it all out for them, right? Now, we at Unique Designs happen to have both. So we do all the strategy first through me, and then I direct all of what we come up with with the design team, and the design team builds it all out. Right. So if you don't have any sort of basis or foundation on what you want and how you want it, and you can't clearly articulate that to the design team, no wonder why you guys are going back and forth a thousand times. So the other thing I asked him was before you hired a designer or a design team, did you ever question their process and timeline? 
So every great designer, and I learned this the hard way, obviously. I'm not pointing any fingers here. But I learned the hard way of not having a real strong process in place um, before I started design projects. So I was the, I was that designer going back and forth with the client a thousand times because I didn't have that strong process in place. We had no direction. It was like, oh, let's slap this up against the wall, see if the client likes it. And that's just like – horrible. <laughs> it's, 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 it's painful for not only the designer, but it, but for the client, right? So you always want to ask about their process and their timeline. So they'll give you a better understanding of how they work. And then you'll be able to say, okay, they're a good fit. I could see myself working with them because I like the way they put it all together. It's systemized. Looks like they know what they're doing. It's not their first rodeo. And then it's, you know, you build that confidence up and you're like, okay, they're the right fit, right? So one of the things that we do for our clients when we're developing brands for them is we create brand guidelines. So I want to show you real quick. And those folks that are listening on Spotify and iTunes, you can go check this out on my, um, on my YouTube channel for sure. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. But for the most part, you'll, you'll see here the brand guidelines that we create for our clients. So once we go through the brand strategy, we're able to put together these brand guidelines after we establish the brand identity. So there's a process for that. We go through a stylescape process and we, we really start to, um, direct the, the look and feel through different concepts of, of design until we get here. Once we go through that stylescape process, then we get here and we build the brand guidelines. So these are what my brand guidelines look like for our clients. So we go through the color scheme. We go through the t- typeset. We go through different um, patterns and shapes. Um, and then here's an, and then typography, obviously. And then we have another brand guideline. Um, this one's a little bit more recent. And again, we showcase the logo, how it's to be used brand colors, Pantone colors, hex colors. So when you give these brand guidelines to a designer, they have rails. They have a track to work on, right? It's so much easier for the designer when we get brand guidelines like this to build funnels, to build websites, to build brand identities online because now we have a a structure. We have a framework that we have to follow, Right. So you could see in this brand guideline, we added some more, some pages to it. So we can, sh- so when you share this with a designer or a creative, they're going to be able to say, Oh, okay. I see how they want to use these colors, these fonts, these shapes. And then they could put that together so much quicker and so much more efficiently. So just imagine for a second, if you had a design team that just got you from the gate, from the beginning, what if the look and feel of your business really started to resonate with the clients that you wanted to attract? And imagine getting your websites, your funnels, your brand identity established online in half the time. You know, once we established our processes and systems inside of Unique Designs and we really started to see that process take shape and we saw the outcome, we saw the results that our clients were getting as we were putting them through that process, we knew we had something in gold. And those back and forths, oh, you know, this, this just isn't, this just wasn't what I was looking for. It's not really my vision. Those conversations that I used to have with clients are long gone, long gone. So when you, when a design team takes you through a thorough process and when you come prepared, it's a whole different story. So 
the long and short of it is the more prepared you are with what you want, what your clients are going to resonate with, and you have a strong foundation and basis on your direction that you're telling these designers, you're going to get things done a hell of a lot faster and a lot more effectively. So that's the importance of creating some sort of guideline or brand guideline for your business and to really do the heavy lifting up front and really I can't stress this enough. When you do the proper strategy up front, the design work is quick. It's fast. It's, it's, it's less painful, but it's the, it's the heavy lifting up front to really get a better understanding of who we're designing for and what they're going to resonate with. Remember guys, it's not about you loving the color blue or orange. It's, is your ideal client going to resonate with this typography? Are they going to resonate with this look and feel, this color scheme, the messaging, the copywriting that we're going to create for you? And if the answer is no, well, then this is where we got to do the hard work. Because once we finish that up, the design work comes pretty quickly. I see too many people trying to jump ahead and just get things quickly designed but it's actually costing them way more time, way more money than just doing the strategy up front first. So hope you got something out of this, guys, today. If you are just stuck when it comes to taking your business and brand to the next level, you're not quite sure about your offer, you're not quite sure about what it should look like, you, you know, you're just you're too busy inside your business and you're not working on it anymore. Um, I have a, a consultation that I want to introduce you to. It's called the branding breakthrough. And a lot of people take the, it's scheduled for 30 minutes, but I never go 30 minutes. I'm always going longer with my clients because I want to make sure that they get off that call with the clarity and focus they need to, to really do the next right move for their brand and their business. Um, but the website is unique designs with a Z at the end, not an S dot net backslash branding breakthrough. If you're stuck and you want somebody to talk to like myself, that's been doing this for 14 years and has a structure, has a process and can help you get to where you want to be a hell of a lot faster. I highly recommend you book that call. It's well worth the investment and, um, it's going to help you get to where you want to be much faster. So hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. Don't forget to leave a review if you're watching on Spotify or iTunes or if you're watching this live stream, comment below if you have any further questions, and I'm happy to help. So have an amazing day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Hey, everyone, this is Henry Kaminsky Jr. again. And really quick, I want to invite you to a one-on-one -on -one consult with me right now if you're looking for the clarity and focus you need to build your brand. brand. Over the past 13 years, I've served hundreds of entrepreneurs that have great products but struggled tremendously with articulating its value to their ideal customers. You didn't get in the business to just change a few lives, did you? Your ideal clients need you. And when your brand has precision crafted messaging coupled with beautifully thoughtful design that sounds, looks, and feels like you, they'll know you're the perfect match for them. If this is something you're struggling with, what I want you to do right now is pause this audio and go visit www.uniquedesigns with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net, and book your one on one console call with me. Remember, the quality of your brand will determine the quality of your clients and the quality of your clients will determine the quality of your life.